Hello to you all my bullet croissants. As usual we did a very exciting vote. In that vote a video about project Zomboid mods is what you guys seem to want. So here is the result of your hard earned virtual democracy. Let's get started. Are your taste buds flawed and destroyed? And is food a luxurious commodity you just can't seem to find? Well, then you probably wouldn't mind filling your digestive system with some trash. You can now let your inner child come out as you stuff crayons into your mouth and chuck tubes of toothpaste. With this mod, clean teeth are a guarantee. Although the stats on these items are very underwhelming, this mod is perfect for those who want to roleplay as a living waste disposal. I am sincerely surprised that chugging toothpaste and eating crayon does not have a negative impact. I suppose your character won't survive long enough to figure out what the long term negative impact is. Now we are on the topic of trash, no longer will empty tin cans just be a useless item. For now, they can have a purpose. You can now toss cans to distract zombies, which could give you enough time to sneak past them. Or you could accidentally throw it against a fence and lead the zombies directly towards yourself. Which I do not recommend. So if you value your life, don't even try to throw them over fences. Did that scare you? Well, no longer do you have to be scared of the jump scare sound, for there is an alternative, which is getting gnomed. This mod makes the jump scares a bit less intense for those that are a bit lighthearted. The only price you have to pay is that the game will meme on you every time you mess up. What am I, old chum? I'm a gnome, and you've been gnomed! After getting scared, you probably want to catch your breath in your safe house. But unfortunately, there's only dog food left. But why just eat it straight out of the can, if you can make a gourmet dish with it? You can throw a bar of butter in your dog food, or serve it in a bowl. And to make it extra luxurious, you can sprinkle shredded paper on top as garnish. For who doesn't like some extra carbon and fiber? Slurping that delicious papery dog food is the definition of fine dining. Honestly, the prepared dog food will still taste horrible, no matter in which culinary fashion you prepare it. They will just look fancy as they infuse your character with disgust and mental trauma. Now after all that nasty food, you probably want to reduce your stress with a smoke. But wait, you don't have a lighter or a match. But have no fear. For now, you can light your cigarettes on the gas burner. Or if you want to go primitive, you can light them over a fire too. Which is my preferred option honestly, because who carries an oven around? This is one of those features that would be really nice to have in the base game. Do you see windows as nothing more than a physical barrier? Now you can parkour straight through them. Just go full sprint and you will fly straight through. And oh man, it's fun. It does hurt pretty bad though as glass just hits different. Which is apparently always in the right hand. Truly unlucky. You better bring a lot of bandages because jumping through windows is very addicting. This mod is sure to come in handy once you get yourself in quite the pickle with no other way out but taking a leap of faith through the window. Or if you're just a masochist with an affection for glass. Now we broke stuff, let's focus on fixing stuff. If you are tired of having your house look like a wild animal shelter, then you can now clean the dirt off of your walls with a mop and some bleach. So don't chuck the bleach bottle just yet. Now you can finally be the janitor of your dreams where you make your house nice and crispy clean. Of course you can also clean the blood off of the walls too. Now this looks much better. Just pretend the corpse on the ground isn't there. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys will be using this mod to clean your house. But you know, sometimes you want to do more than just cleaning. Sometimes you want to move your furniture to make them into barricades. Or some would want to move them for the sake of aesthetics. In real life, I tend to not nail my furniture to the floor because that's weird and unnecessary. So I don't really need a hammer or any type of carpentry skills to move them. With the rebalanced prop moving mod, you won't need that either. For now, you can disassemble your furniture without having to take every single nail out. You also don't need any carpentry skill or tools to do so. Welcome to Project Gym, where we lift metal objects to increase muscle mass. Which happens to make us red and sweaty, and our clothes soaked. But no longer does it have to stay that way. For with the mud ring clothing, you can now wring out all the H2O, which is also known as water. No longer do you have to wait ages or use heat for your clothing to dry up. But naturally all that lifting might have made you hungry. And there is sometimes nothing but bugs around. And of course eating them plain makes us crippling depressed. This is where the insect recipes mod saves the day. As of now the mod allows you to process the cricket only so no real advanced tasty meals yet. Processing the insect does remove all negative effects. Processing the insect is done by putting water in a pan or bucket and then you wash the crickets in the water. Then you cook the bug after and enjoy the crunchy bugs with a smile. 
Are you experiencing a harsh winter? Well then your rain barrels are probably no longer giving you any water. With the mod snow is water, you will still get water during winter, just at a 50% slower rate than usual. As you know, in real life you can melt snow. Either way, you will heat it anyway to remove the tainted effect. So I really don't see why this mod is not in the base game. Now do you wish you could do more with tailoring? With the tailoring overhaul mod, all the zombies at clothing will come in handy. You can now extract thread from rags or stitch the rags together and turn them into sheets. Or turn the rags into sheet ropes. Which honestly makes a lot of sense. This mod would just make you that much more self-reliant. The hunt for sheets to cover your windows with is finally over. Now I just want to be able to make clothing from the rags because that would finish the whole cycle. Now all this excitement has probably made our character very depressed, so like in real life, we sleep our misery away. The mod sleep on it makes you wake up feeling a little bit better the next day. For sleep cures all. Now we are still depressed, but that's better than severely depressed which we were before. I consider this a win. That's all I got for you guys today. I do have a bunch of more cool mods to show, but showing them all in one video would make for a very long video. So let me know if you want me to cover more mods and I will show them. And if you want to join the top 2.4% then I will welcome you with open arms. For those that want to see more content from me, I also got a second channel now where I upload YouTube shorts. So go check it out if you want. Thank you all for watching friends, and I'll see you all very soon.